to me it seems that there is a prevalent theme in our time that we are disconnected from our authentic selves. So here I'd like to share with you a part of my journey that was one of the hardest but the most empowering lesson I came across so that it might help you and inspire you. There was a time in my life when I was desperately looking for love. I lied to myself. I said that I would not care about others, what they think about me, if they like me and how I appeared. Which wasn't entirely true. Sure, I was good on my own and didn't need validation from others, but still I wasn't settled within myself. There was a part in me that was seeking for closeness, that also wanted to be seen and heard. It was a part of me that was hurt, and because of that, anxious. Constantly worried about what's right and what's wrong, what is okay to say and do and what's not. Analyzing the environment, the people around me, their reactions and adapt accordingly in order to fit in. But I didn't do that intentionally. It all happened subconsciously. It was just a way I've learned to behave without knowing when and how that even started. It was like an internal chatter that I wasn't aware of, but that showed up in many different ways externally. As a result, I wasn't expressing myself authentically. I held back because I didn't want to expose my true self. Fearing that, I got rejected, I got abandoned and hurt again. And that pain seemed to be too big. Instead of staying true to myself, to my essence, I learned to put on a mask. I liked things that weren't true to my heart. I was with people that weren't good for me. I engaged in situations that were supposed to be fun, at least it seemed that way for other people, but experiencing those let me feel drained, empty and disconnected afterwards. But instead of seeing that as a sign that something was clearly off, Looking beneath the surface and acknowledging how I truly felt, what was really going on inside of me, I continued. I pushed it to the back of my mind and put on another mask. And another. And another. After a while, I didn't recognize myself anymore. I was looking at my reflection, trying to find myself in there, but only a stranger looked back. I identified myself with all the false masks that covered my real essence, and because of that, I lost touch with my inner self. I was totally confused about what was really true for me, which were the things I valued, I truly enjoyed, and which not. I became someone I didn't even like, and my life mirrored that back to me. I tried to not get judged to be liked by everyone, and in doing so, I forgot to be liked by the most important person in my life, myself. By searching in the outside world, I overlooked where love even begins within me. Because I cannot receive love if I don't give that to myself first. So I decided to cultivate love for myself, to be my own best friend, 
and to deeply get to know myself, which required of me to have an honest look about how I was treating myself. And I came to realize that I had a pretty harsh inner critic, a loud negative self-talk and dominant feelings of not being good enough and not being lovable. And this inner state of being had a major effect on my behavior, my habits, my actions, the way I engaged in situations and with people. After realizing that, I knew that there needed to be a change. For example, rather than beating myself up when I did a mistake, I encouraged me to keep trying. Instead of looking for short-term pleasure, I focused on long-term satisfaction. I committed to decide and act from a place of my well-being to say yes to what's serving me and no to the things, habits, behaviors, people, etc. that weren't good for me. Even if that meant that I had to face feelings and situations of discomfort, of pain and sorrow. Like all these emotions that I normally didn't want to feel, but that hold so much wisdom and truth in them. I learned to just sit with those emotions, coming from a place of understanding, compassion and honest listening. That was a long journey of deconditioning, but with every step I took, it got better. The moment that I decided to let go of a part that wasn't good for me, where I betrayed myself, I made room for the new to enter, which was better. And the more I did that, the more I felt whole inside. I felt love for myself again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that gave you some inspiration for your journey. I truly appreciate you being here and I wish you a wonderful day.